Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing today? Awesome, awesome, amazing. How are you doing? I see. Okay, I see a few things changed. How are you doing today? Um, I just had this beautiful power nap, like very beautiful. <laughs> Jumped off from sleep <laughs> to do this. How are you doing? I know you're doing awesome. So even my brain is trying to <laughs> reboot and reset. So today, if you're here, please, uh, um, you know, send a chat, say something in the comments. Let me know that you're here. Today, we'll be looking at the power of imagination. <laughs> Forget my sleepy face. <laughs> the power of imagination. The power of imagination. Seeing is believing. Believing is seeing. So there is uh, someone, a, a great man, who I heard say, believing is seeing so you know ordinarily what i know and i want to believe is what you're used to is that seeing is believing believing is seeing <laughs> and babe, this is dedicated to you this is dedicated to you i'm doing this tonight because of you 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 I made you a promise. And as a person of integrity, I had to show up for you. <laughs> so even when I didn't want to show up, I'm like, oh my goodness, no, I promised you that I was going to show up tonight and I didn't have an option but to show up, right? So, <laughs> and thank you so much to MM. Like, you've been on this journey with me for several years. Like, you've believed in this um each your man to create brand you believed in me i don't know how many years you followed me on instagram but i know the name it's, it's one of those names i know you would um joining for literally every family meeting because that's what we call it so this is another family meeting and you would also buy my programs subscribe to my programs well done. Thank you. And even just yesterday, yesterday, 24 hours ago, you still, you know, um, grabbed the zero to millions mini course. So um, I would love for you to, you know, tell me, give me a feedback on the zero to millions mini course, what it's doing for you. Um, you would have received an email today, you know, reiterating the lessons um, contained in the course and I can tell you that that course right um, is everything and more yeah okay so let me not talk about the course now let's focus the power of imagination Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 it says when there is no vision when there is no purpose and guess what I realized when there is no dream life Seven years ago in 2017, I wrote a book using um, my iPhone 6S. So for those of you who have, you know, the latest phones, be it your iPhone, be it your Android, and you're still looking to increase your income. Seven years ago, I locked myself up. And when I say I locked myself up, you get what I mean. And in three weeks, it's about three weeks, I wrote this little palm book your dream, your seed. It wasn't even very clear to me at that time what I meant about your dream, your seed. Even when I read the book now, and I'm going to be honest, I really don't know what the correlation is, if that makes sense. But, but at that time, I just knew that there was something about dreaming. We're talking about the power of imagination. I knew there was something about dreaming. So within my, my family, and I'm talking about my siblings, they always will, will laugh at me and tease me, dream first. That's basically what they call me. Because I don't want to think within my current circumstance. I don't want to think 
within my um, current situation. Listen, you know when we show up live, it's, you know, we're real. <laughs> we're open, we're transparent, we talk when we show up live. As you will say in the local parlance, it's a, we say life is lifing, something like that, right? Everybody, everybody is dealing with one thing or the other. I repeat, everybody with no exception in life, no matter where you meet the person, no matter what the person is doing, no matter, no matter what it is, everybody is dealing with something. And when we say everybody is dealing with something, you know, you may think that, oh, it has to be, um, you know, it has to be something out of this world or monstrous or, you know, but I can tell you, and I don't know what that thing is for everybody. It could be emotional. It could be spiritual. It could be physical, it could be financial, it could be anything, it could be anything. But somehow, you know, it's almost like God has made life in a way that we would all depend on him for something. Like, I think God just knows that if he leaves us, <laughs> it's almost like if he leaves us, you know, we'll just go. <laughs> Nobody's going to remember him. And that's why you have a lot of transactional relationships with God. For a lot of people who call God, for a lot of people who, you know, go to church, attend prayer meetings, read their Bible, join whatever it is, you know, it's actually because they are asking God for something. And I digress a bit. When was the last time you went to God and you said, I don't have a prayer point? Not because you don't have anything you're asking for per se. But it's more from a position of, now, now let's, let's try another example in a way that it would sink in. For someone like me, <laughs> I'm always asking God, bless my business, grow my business, you know, financial, really. But there are those times you get into the secret place or the place of prayer. And you know that. Listen, God, I may not have hit my goals. I may not have achieved the things that I set out to achieve yet. <laughs> However, what you have done, I don't have anything I'm asking for right now. It's happened to me a lot very recently. I'm still talking about the power of imagination, right? You know, we had to find a title, <laughs> at least to give us a direction. I have a friend that, you know, that we pray together. And we agreed to meet a certain time. This is the first quarter of the year 2024. Even if you're watching this in 2030, right? So we agreed, you know, the power of agreement, the prayer of agreement, where two or three come together in my name. The power of agreement. One shall chase a thousand. You know, we think it's always just about marriage, but it's telling us and talking to us about alignment. One shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand. It's not about marriage. It's the fact that the power of agreement the bible says to us <laughs> can two walk together except they be in agreement and i don't know why i'm going in this direction but just stay with me <laughs> we'll wrap it up nicely can two walk together except the be in agreement <sighs> You know that you're actually a tripartite being. You are three in one. Like the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. You know that. Okay, so you are a spirit living in a body and you have a soul. You know, right? Forget 
external agreement. And I was, you know, what brothers I was talking about my friend who I'm praying with, right? So maybe I just round that up and then. So, but I think about the last three times we met to pray, you know, because we'll ask if anything you want to pray about, you know, so that we can then join faith. And pray about And I was, I'm, I'm like, I don't have any prayer point. <laughs> All right. In Jama, you really don't have any prayer point. But I just didn't have any prayer point. So that was why I brought that. But then, so, when they talk about the power of agreement, it means that your spirit, man, has to be in alignment with your soul, your mind. We did, you know, I mean, go and find our 31 days midnight walk with God. <laughs> you know, you know, when we talked about the mind, I don't know how many of us were here, but you know, when we talked about the mind and all that. Your spirit man has to be in agreement with your mind. And then your mind has to be in agreement with your body. You know, people would say, oh, you know, I don't have a support system. As much as that is very important, like I have the best support system in the world. The best. I, <laughs> my family. My goodness. Those guys. My goodness. <laughs> See, I have a very tight, very close knit support system. Right? But as much as I have that, I don't need the next person's agreement as much as I need the agreement that I have with myself, the power of imagination. What are you thinking in your heart? Is it in alignment with the words that you pray? So you are praying, for example, I talk to entrepreneurs, I'm coached to entrepreneurs, right? So you're talking to God about growing your business, but your mouth is saying something else. And your imagination is thinking about how the economy is all messed up and how, you know, how can businesses grow in this kind of situation? Yet you are praying and you're present at every prayer meeting. And you wonder why things are not exactly working. Because can two walk together except the be in agreement? The Bible says, it's your man to pray. A double-minded man. <laughs> he didn't say a man without a support system. He didn't say a man without a prayer partner. He didn't say a man without motivation. He says a double-minded man. Because the moment something is out of alignment, he says, receives nothing from God. Pause. It's not by 20 hours of fasting. <laughs> it's not by 365 days of a fast. Are you in agreement at your three realms of existence? The Bible says, show me your faith. And I will show you your works. Or show me your works and I'll show you your faith. That's what the Bible said. What does it mean? You cannot be praying for business expansion. And the things that you're doing are not in alignment with what you're asking God for. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you are praying. Because you know, we think that this God is such a magician. We think that this God is, you know, you know, he's a miracle worker and we know that. But we think that we have no part to play. One of my pastors, Bishop Oyedipo, so that's my papa, right? He would always say at the time that every faith that is 100% dependent on God, that is, you have no role to play, is an irresponsible faith. Okay, so but let's forget what a man has said. The Bible said, a double-minded man. So you're believing God even if it's for good health. But maybe you're like me, and then the level of junk that you take in your mouth. Um, if this is for you, you know. <laughs> you are praying for good health. And this is not to say that, you know, you don't have people who eat so healthily and don't fall ill. No, no, no. Don't begin to rationalize these things. What we're saying is, what is it that you're imagining? He says, as far as your eyes can see, what can your eyes 
C. My mission and what I coach our entrepreneurs about how to start and scale a profitable business. Are you sitting and thinking that the business you're doing does not have the power to create wealth for you? Are you sitting and thinking that you know it's because of the kind of business that I'm doing? L let me explain. Oh, sure. You know, I, li I like to, let's practicalize this Christianity. Listen, he said to us in the word, because at the end of the day, as Christians, the word of God is our guide. Not what the pastor said, not what the drummer, who is only, you know, but just the pop seller says. But the word of God says that as far as your eyes can see, what are you seeing? What are you believing? What are you doing in alignment? You know, for some of us, we talk about, oh, I lack the discipline, or I'm not consistent. And I used to be that way. Oh, well, when I say I used to be that way, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but it's almost like, <laughs> you know. But when things align, your actions and habits would align with what you are imagining. So I have the Zero to Profits Masterclass. And it begins tomorrow for the month of March. This is the month of March, yes. And it begins tomorrow. The amount of work I've put in, I've, I've done this whole online coaching thing for seven years now. The work I've done in the last two months feels like work of one year. Why? My goal is clear. I keep saying to my children, there's something different about how I am imagining this year, how I am dreaming this year, how I am planning this year. There's something. And the difference is simple. My actions have aligned. I did not say they are beginning to align. They have aligned with my goals. My goals and my prayer. So even in the family, I mean, most of us have family WhatsApp groups, I believe. So even in the family WhatsApp, when they talk to me, I say, my dash, dash, dash worker sick. You know, so it's, so let's say my goal is $10. No, but you're not here. Why do you want to play safe? No, 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 no. Here we dream big. <laughs> John is like, I'm not going to make you feel any better. So let's say that my goal is $10 million, you know? <laughs> so even the family group, when they talk, I'll just say my $10 million work ethic. I am not leaving it just for God and praying. I am doing the work so much so that I'm bragging, bragging that if I don't hit my goal, December 31st would not come. Because the actions are in alignment with the dream. And that's the framework that I teach in the masterclass now. <laughs> it's not that I didn't know the framework. But you know, the thing with most of us is when you don't see results day one, month one, year one, you give up. But what I'm trying to tell you today is that every work works. I heard that from someone. Every work works. You know the work you've been doing for the past few years that looks like it's not working. It has been working. It's been working on you. It's been making you grow. It's been teaching you things you did not know. All you need is then how to bring all of it together in a way that it is simplified. Ah, how do I explain it? But hopefully, am I making sense? The power of your imagination. What are you thinking? What are you seeing? When 
Proverbs 29, 18, when there is no vision, the people perish. When there is no clear dream life, you know what that means. I didn't say it, it's the Bible. <laughs> when there is no vision, when there is no purpose, when there is no dream life, your, your dream life is simply just a vision of your ideal future. That's what a vision is. And the Bible has said when you don't have a clear picture of this ideal future, complete the sentence. <laughs> Oh, so by the way, this t-shirt I'm wearing, that's my father. So I lost my dad um, sometime last year. Hashtag budget sleeves. That's my, my sweet dad. <laughs> you know. Believing. The challenge why you're not as motivated. The challenge why you wake up some days and it's like... You're so down. And I'm not saying that we don't have those seasons. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. What I'm saying is that you're, the reason you're not able to really rise above those seasons is that your dream life is not clear. Do you know why you're at every social gathering? <laughs> your, your dream life is not clear to you. And you don't have a clear roadmap. And that's why with the Zero to Profits Masterclass, what I'm teaching is how to 10x your revenue, profits, and impact with confidence and clarity. If you have a clear roadmap, if you have a clear dream life first, so you first of all have a clear set of objectives. So you have a clear vision. Then you have a clear set of objectives. As, as a business owner, I talk to business owners and I'm only coach to champions. I don't coach wimps, so let's talk. What is your goal for your business this year? Clear goal. So the methodology of my coaching is the DGPA system. And listen, you know the thing? I'm not about to try to make it look like, oh, it's something, you know, out of this world. I just called it the DGPA system. I've been saying it for years. I've been using it for years. But it never occurred to me that that's actually what I teach. See. I come and I share with you my how so that even if you don't sign up for my programs, you can still get to do something. But the thing is, I'm going to sign up for my programs. You get to your journey faster. <laughs> 1,000 times faster. I wish that somebody gave me something like the Zero to Profits Masterclass when I started. I wouldn't be here. What I've learned in, in, in seven years of the online business and the beauty of me as your coach, yes, <laughs> is that I run an offline business. I products, I produce products. So I'm not teaching you Google download. I'm not teaching you something I've not experienced. As the, the, uh, the Bible talks about the word of God that we have experienced and handled. <laughs> the one that we've touched. No, I'm not. I, 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 I. Understand and believe one million percent in the place of personal development, of knowledge. But now I have taken this knowledge over the years, about 20, about two decades, honestly, about 20, about 20 decades, about 20 years. Yes, I've been doing business about 20 years. This is, yeah, I started doing business over 20 years. As a teenager. It's not one of those stories. I was still in university, what you guys may want to call college, <laughs> right? When I started to earn money. And I've taken everything I've learned from that time to starting Boobers Foods with just a dream and less than a dollar to where it is today. And I've condensed it. Condensed it. And all I'm saying every day is, how come I didn't meet someone like me? How come I wish I met someone like me who would marry everything? Most of us want to understand tactics and techniques of running business as much as there's nothing wrong with it. But the, the funny thing is when now in a, uh, an era we're now in an era of digital innovation at the speed of light. 
that. That is, you are still for trying to understand one platform and its tactics and techniques, and it's changed. As a business owner, your focus should be the strategy, clear roadmap. Every other thing is how you get there. The vision is static, the strategy changes per time. But all on a mission, the power of your imagination, when there is no clear dream life, the people perish. You have to first see. I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, and to bring you to an expected end. Do you have an expected end? Do you have a clear dream life? It's the Bible I'm quoting, not my teaching. He said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. What is your expected end? Can you see your expected end? You know, because when they say, we say the power of visualization, it's almost like, oh, but I can't visualize a million dollars. But I can't visualize $10 million. But I can't, but there are things that you can visualize. So the system that I teach, the DGPA, dream, goals, Plan, action, period. That's the framework. You have a dream. And I tell you, I'm not, it's, I'm not hoarding it. I'm not trying to make it look like, uh-uh. You have a dream. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> the goals, the plans, the actions, the things that you do what I call dream, act, and manifest. So, but between dreaming and action, so you dream, you act, you manifest. So, is the damn methodology of teaching. But what I've now done within my damn methodology of teaching is to give you one of the many frameworks. And that's the framework just for the masterclass, DGPA. How do you go from zero? That's why it's called Zero to Profits Masterclass. How do you go from zero? So you haven't even started a business. You know, you have an idea that there's something, you, you know, you have an idea that you want to do this, but you really don't know the how. No, we go and we start from the foundation. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So a lot of times you're taught business from, or oh, find a problem, create a solution. Absolutely. But that is the middle of the journey. Because I always will say to you, your business is for you, your product is for your customer. So if your business is for you, why have you left yourself out of the equation and then go, gone to start with the customer? And then you wonder why you're burnt out, why you're overwhelmed. Because you've not taken care of the singular most important person in the equation, you. The day you slump and die at this level, I'm not talking about when you. So at, at, at every level. So if you are just a startup, and you haven't exactly set up structure, right? The day you slump and die, the business dies. So including the, the customer and clients that you were providing solution for, everybody will be leaving, <laughs> right? And then if you have set up real big, good structure, um, corporate governance, right? The day you slump and die, the business continues like you did not exist. You must put you in the equation, if you are the beginning, you know how they say X plus Y, find whatever, <laughs> find, the, you are the constant K, the one that cannot be moved. <laughs> you are the visioner, you are the visionary. So why have you taken yourself out of the equation? You have to first see then pursue it. Listen, you know, there's a scripture. I think it was first Samuel. Because, you know, um, I went to study that scripture one day. Very recently, not too long. You know, David came back and um, he was he was going through a situation as well. They had lost the battle or something like that. I think it's first Samuel 20, I think. And he went to God and he said, shall I pursue? Would I overtake? So what I've said is, until you see, then you pursue. 
dream, goals, plan, action. You always think that it is the complex things that give you the solution, but very simple things. Dream, goals, plan, action. That's the simple but very powerful framework for the Zero to Profits Masterclass. Before we then move on to other things. I've hired all kinds of people and I came to one realization. I've been frustrated with hiring at different levels. I found what the missing link is. I hire professionals, experts, and I'm thinking, so that I give it the autonomy to run. That's what it means to have a structure, right? But you know the thing. What I teach in end-to-end, end-to-end, right? Because the DGPA that I'm talking about is um, just for the Zero to Profits Masterclass. But end-to-end is that to run a profitable business is first the strategy, second the system, third the structure. So if you don't have a clear strategy, Whoever and any other person that you hire, they would begin to want to run their own thing. So you must be, as a business owner, you're first of all a strategist. So I'm a business strategist. But you're first of all a strategist in your mind. You should be able to spot your opportunity, see the missing links, and keep it moving. And that's why we say that as a business owner, you're working on the business, not necessarily in the business. Because as the visionary, if you can't continuously see the business, there's a reason. There's, listen, if you're already running businesses here, there's that dream, there's that vision that you had about the business. You know, there would have been those times you imagined that, my goodness, oh, this business is now global. Even if you never really, you know, did it for so long, if, if you get what I mean. But you stopped. Because you're chasing the shadows in the business. But if only you captured that seeming fantasy, that thing that seemed like it was fantasy, your dream, if only you captured it as a very clear written down vision and developed a roadmap, developed your set of objectives, even in your down moments, you would act as a guide. Vision is the ability to see with your heart. I'm looking at my notes. Vision is the ability to see with your heart what you can't see with your eyes. If you're seeing it, it's not vision. What has kept Bubes Foods through the several years, several years of ups, downs, rock, water, storm, <laughs> It's the vision. And in the last two weeks or less, the reason, one of the reasons that I'm running business manifested itself. So my daughter would always talk about, you know, being a part of Bubes Foods. And about this day we're having a conversation. She said, you know, as director at Bubes Foods. And it went off in my head. It drama. You cannot allow this business die. Your child has seen the work you've put in and seen the growth trajectory that she has already seen herself. <laughs> Legacy and impact. She has already seen herself as a director in Bubles Foods, brethren of the most high. Nothing can make Bubles Foods to fail. My child wants to come and take my idea that I'm running and sit on the board. So even when we're now talking, I'll say to her, so imagine director of operations, Bubes Foods. How does that sound? She's only going to be 18. Just in case you think that what I'm telling you, no, I say to the one I bore from my womb, I can't love you more than I love her. I love my children to bits. What I'm saying is, if I can say that to her, know that. It's not just for gimmicks. What is your why? 
your vision, your dream life. But you know, we want to start searching. I want to discover my purpose. Your purpose, your dream life is your purpose. How about that? Yes, the reason you want to start and scale a profitable business is because you want to go on those vacations with family. That's your why. That's your purpose. And that's valid. Very valid. Stop. <laughs> the vision, the ability to see with your heart. What you can't see with your eyes. You can't touch it yet. Um, so, <laughs> the Bible said, Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance of these things. If I told you why I loved, but I'll tell you, and then I'll begin to round up. Because I have people who have signed up for Masterclass and I must deliver excellent value by tomorrow. It's less than 24 hours, I think. So, <laughs> I messed up in my head a little bit. What's this time now? It's to 10 p.m. Yeah, so it's less than 24 hours. So I have to go and... Because they must go from zero to profits. <laughs> and what have I promised them? Don't, for some of them who don't have businesses, we're going to create businesses for them. Zero to profits. And then if you have businesses, you're going to reinvent your business, transform your business. Um, and when I'm done with this life, I'm going to put the link to the masterclass. And the link to my free ebook. Uh, you know. <laughs> Let me now tell you why I laughed. So I'm Ibo. Fully Ibo. Ibo. I did not say Ibo. I'm Ibo. <laughs> so it just dropped in my mind in Ibo. The scripture I just quoted. Blessed. <laughs> so. And I grew up Catholic. And I'm just going to put it out there. You know. So. I mean, when we go to church, then you'll just hear, I don't know who is Igbo here. Or I'm mean, like, Igbo here. But even if you're not Igbo here on this live, right? I know that somebody's going to be watching at some point in my life, and the person is Igbo, and the person will understand, and the person will put it in the comments. So that scripture, that <laughs> phrase, or what we say in church, or what I, yeah, it's actually the priest that says it. You know, dropped in my mind, and I'm thinking, how do I say that? <laughs> do you understand? It was just quite a swift spiritual moment, but it just dropped to remind me of the scripture. And, I, and in that brief life moment, you know, that's when I realized that that's the scripture that says, Blessed is she. That, that one is in, in Luke. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. You need to believe. You need to believe. He says, come, let us reason together. He gave you brain for a reason. It's not every time you're doing, you do a fair prayer. There are phases and seasons. The children, the sons of Issachar, understood times and seasons. There's a time to pray. You know, the prayer is communication with God. So you are to constantly be in communication with God. What just happened now was a, you know, divine communication. I'm talking, he gave me a scripture, he translated it, and we moved on. If I didn't want to tell you what happened, you wouldn't know what happened. You just think I just smiled, and we kept it moving. So prayer is constantly communing with the Father. Do you understand? And we know that there are different kinds of prayers. We know there's supplication, there's all that, you know, intercession. Do you understand? When you're now doing, <laughs> and there's the time when you're praying with alignment. You're not saying words, but your action, because it says faith without works is dead. So you've prayed. You prove that you believe your prayer by your actions. That is why you need to sign up for the masterclass. I wasn't going to go in that direction, but hey, <laughs> I'm a business person and I know how to spot opportunities and just do subtle marketing and sales. Listen, today someone was telling me something and he said, you know, you're the reason I'm scaling my business. I'm like, and he said, yes. He said, you know, I kept thinking about how to scale. And the way I thought to scale was to leave my present location. You know, you know, he has this, he had this very fancy idea. So he has, um, it's a catering business. I think that's, that's what I'll call it. 
and they offer um, traditional meals, African traditional meals to his customers. That's what he does. So, but you know, he had this grand, beautiful idea, right? Of, you know, so for me to grow, I have to get a, a new location. I have to set up a commercial kitchen. I have to do this. I have to do that. Fantastic. But I'm like, all of these things that you're saying that would need a lot of capital. When you download my free ebook, one of the chapters talks about the fact, I think, you know, have different resources out there. It talks about the fact that when you think you need a lot of money to start, Yes, one of the one of the chapters. Because certain things I believe. Why do you think that to get there you must have so much resources? You don't. You just need to start. Start from where you are. And so this was the same thing I told him. Now this was in the last one year. As we speak, he I only heard it today. And he said, so the moment you kept telling me that, kept telling me, but have you maximized where you are currently? Have you maximized this current location? Have you done everything you need, you can do out of this location before this grand, grandiose? <laughs> because the roadmap is not clear. The vision, and that vision is beautiful. I'm not attacking the vision. I'm only talking about dream, act, and manifest. So I'm talking about the action to get into the dream life. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, you keep procrastinating, keep putting away things that you need to do because you don't have a clear roadmap. So it's just that, oh, you know, when I have a lot of money, how I will turn this business? Okay, but you don't have a lot of money yet. Are you saying that the dream of the business will die inside of you? And you know, there's a scripture I read several years ago, several. This would be around 2017, 2018. Late 2017, early 2018. I see it where I wrote it in my journal. But you know, it talks about how the Lord drove away the enemies that were occupying the promised land little by little. And the scripture made it clear. He said, because if I drove them off all at once, if I drove them out all at once, you will not know how to handle it. The Bible says it, one day at a time. Take your first step. Clarity comes in motion. The question becomes, what is that first step? That's where I come in. Yes, even if I say so myself. <laughs> even if I say so myself. Okay. I have this call that's trying to cut us off, but no, I'm here with y'all. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? The question then becomes, what is my first step? And so this guy, in that last one year, anything can happen. He now has a functional website. And he was just telling me, he said, I got my first two order, online orders. He's still at the same location. He has not had to move the location. He just tweaked a few things. Listen, this is Coach IJ talking. I know these things. And I remember one time he came to me, you know, he was still trying to tweak the website to make it perfect. I'm a person of excellence, but I can tell you something. Start and tweak as you journey. Clarity comes in motion. So, you know, he was focused on the, on the, you know, um, a perfect website or this, this. I said, no. I said, you're actually getting it wrong. Because the money you're spending on the technology, you should spend on marketing. Go to market first. Test what you've done first. And then come back and tweak based on what your customers and clients are telling you that they want. And that's exactly what he did. So rather than spend, say, an additional $100, so even the money that, you know, it may look like, oh, if I sign up for the masterclass, um, then I won't have money for my business. You know, that kind of thing. But the thing is, if you sign up for the masterclass, you'll understand how to maximize what you currently have and not waste money and you will just be hitting it bullseye but hope you're getting you know you know i come here and just laugh i love you all you know and then so i said to him okay those two people that bought what have you done with them and he doesn't know and he says i, I don't get it so he's had someone who's looking at you know doing all the seo things i said listen the person who is doing your SEOs, that's all he knows to do. Because that's what I've realized. So I used to hire them thinking that they knew, you know what I mean? 
and I started to coach him again. I said, listen, those two people that I've already ordered, they are your gold mine. You're sitting on a gold mine. And so he's telling me, oh, you know, I've already started a podcast. I'm trying to start a podcast and something, you know? And I'm like, I, you know, I really don't care about your podcast, right? Because, you know, we're always thinking about, no, we don't see the power of imagination. We don't see that what we have is more than enough. It's because we need a coach like a drummer, Coach IJ, to guide you in a way that you can maximize what you currently have. And he's talking to me about this podcast. Also, you know, but we've not rolled it out. I said, I don't understand. I said, listen. And then he's actually active on Facebook. I said, you know, that when it comes to audience, the marketing people, everybody has terminology. As a business owner, forget terminology. And I'll tell you why I said that. Somebody else will come and ask you, what's your business strategy? Somebody else will come and ask you, what's your brand strategy? Somebody else will come and ask you, what's your this strategy? Because different people have different lingua. Forget the lingua. Know what you want to do and keep it moving. Because different people use different terminologies. So for the online people, they tell you it's a sales funnel. Is this? Is a value ladder? Is this? Is that? I'm a strategist. I focus on this is where I'm going to. This is the roadmap I need to get there. You know, so there's this joke in Nigeria. There's this joke that they say, you owns the car. No, no. You, you know the name. I, I own the car. You know, it's just a joke. Do you understand? You know the lingua? lingua? I'm generating the results. <laughs> it doesn't stop you from knowing business terminology. It's just saying. Right? And then I said, so you have the audience on the journey. See all the things I've taught you today. This is like a whole masterclass. There's your hot audience. There's your cold audience. So there's hot, there's warm, and there's cold. And you can further break this down. But what I was saying to him is I said, I said, so you have hot audience that's been engaging with you over the years. But you don't want to maximize them. You don't want to engage them. You want to start a podcast for a cold audience that does not even know that you exist. Make it make sense. And it hit him what I was trying to say. And in two minutes, I told him, no, do this, do this. You know, do it this way. I said, the two people that have already bought, it means that there's something you did right. The fact that you can sell to one person. Listen, I know that we all want to sell to a million people, but you know that there are different ways to make money. And then I'm beginning to get a far, my goodness. I didn't think I was going to spend this long. <laughs> but you guys know how to get the teacher in me out. Right? If you, um, MM, that has the, what's it called now? The zero to millions. You will see that one of it is my $100,000 template. So, but in the, in the zero to profits masterclass, no, what I teach is the $1 million template. I'm not there to play. Can we learn? Can we move up? scale up there are different ways of making a million dollars it can be that you have an idea and someone will say to you i'll buy it for a million dollars one person one business one organization will buy it for one dollar for one million dollars or you can decide that you want to sell something of one dollar and then a million people will buy it that's still right or whatever however you want to do your financial goal setting your, the strategy of how you will reach your goal. So, take away from your mind the power of imagination. Take away from your mind that if it is not this way, it cannot work. That uh -uh. If, if what you are selling, if what you're offering, one person has bought it, you're a success. Do you know what it means to get someone to part with their money and give you for something you say you're offering? Sell to one. Now you don't even just have one. You have two people. Two. I said, so, and I started to explain it to him. I said, listen, what those two people have done is that they've come to your storefront. They've bought, they've gone, they may never come back. But we're, we, we are also told it's easier. It's easier. It's cheaper to maintain 
existing customers and clients than to gain new ones cheaper because as a business owner you must be talking numbers and thinking in terms of return on investment so you want you don't mind to spend a thousand dollars a month i'm just giving numbers a thousand dollars on a month on cold audience on new customers or new leads because that's what ads is about ads does not mean that they must they become customers it just generate leads not all are qualified leads you're casting your net in the you're casting your net in a wide ocean and hoping that it will catch some fish that's what ads do as i said they've come how have you engaged them afterwards so we started another session today the power of imagination. I, I need to leave because I need to go and prepare for people who have, you know, signed up for the masterclass. And just in case, I, I didn't think I was going to talk about masterclass, but hey. But just in case you're wondering, you know, so the Zero to Profits Masterclass is where I teach you how to create a proven strategy to 10x your revenue, profits, and impact. That's what, um, you know, we do at the Zero to Profits. How to build a profitable business without burnout and overwhelm it doesn't take away the hard work it's not for people who want overnight success no <laughs> i just said overwhelm and work burnout before i came here i just took a one hour nap why because i know that once i'm done i have to dive right into looking at what i need to deliver tomorrow all right how do you build a profitable business that's exactly what we look at at the zero to profits masterclass i'll put it in the link below if you think that no, you should want it. Not that if you think. Um, you should. You should. You should want to build a profitable business. <laughs> so you would click the link um, in the description box. Or click, yeah. Um, I would put the link to the free ebook. You don't have to buy the masterclass if you don't want to buy the masterclass, right? Um, get a, a free copy of the of the ebook. All of these things that I've talked about. The ebook, the Zero to Profits ebook, is uh, the seven most fatal mistakes that business owners make and how to avoid them what those mistakes are that keep you stuck and stagnant you know so you're, you're feeling stuck you're feeling like i'm doing this but i'm stuck those fatal mistakes is what i discovered there are seven of them is a you can hmm? okay the power of imagination what do you see what do you believe and what actions are you taking towards it i love you all i appreciate you Maybe I should wait a minute. Does anybody have a question? A question. Would I get any question? Or did I deliver so beautifully that I know that right now it's a mental massage, like your brain is thinking about a million gazillion things at the same time. Like, how do you implement this in your business? How do you implement what she has just said in your business? Uh, uh, you know, just sign up for the masterclass. <laughs> so that you have clarity. <laughs> That's why I'm called the Transformational Clarity Queen. Do I have any questions? Any? I know that it was meant to be a class, but hey, I'm a teacher. <laughs> I love to teach. Any questions? Any, 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 any. Okay, so don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share to anyone who you feel needs this. Yeah. And until next time when I show up here, remember... That your dreams are absolutely valid. See you next time.